and that's like clear evidence was not nope. bullshit. Was Cody not lying. Schwab has returned to us. We now have both players for our stream. Oh, sick. Oh, we're in this. We're Welcome back right to Sidestream, everyone. No hand warmers. We're just popping straight in. We got Cody Schwab, Komodo. Cody Schwab on my knob, Schwab. So, no, not on this channel, man. <laughs> Especially on his channel. Yeah, so um, uh, sidebar, shout out to Medify. If you guys want um, lessons from Komodo, you, yeah. you like what he's putting out here, you see that little crown next to his name, you can get that lessons from I know, Komodo. I know, I know some puffs talked about getting some Komodo lessons. I know Jay Gold was yeah. thinking about it. Shouting them out. Shout out our sponsors. I bet if you play Fox, Komodo could teach you how to play Fox. Komodo is, yeah. If he's top 64, whatever you need, he'll help you out with. Okay. It's Komodo's from what region of Florida? Uh, CFL, Central nice. Florida. Yeah, Florida showed up in droves. They weekend. always do. No, like, even at last tipped off, which is a lot quieter, yeah. Florida always makes sure to show up. Yeah, no, they, it's like, it's like, they want to own our state or something like that, which I respect. They're scary. I just would not let Florida put their flag in my soil. <laughs> Too bad we got invaders everywhere. Two invaders on stream right now. Um, oh. We have no defenders on stream. Oh, and that's oh, just that's death. Tough. You know, I respect Komodo going for it. You kind of got to, like, you, you can't be scared. You know, you're going up against Cody. You can't be scared to rip your rest. You can't hesitate around it. Especially since he's, you know, like, such so seasoned, especially in the, uh, in the people, have, matchup. people have been trying to decide if Cody's one of the best players in the world. Dude, I... Or if he's the best, really. Yeah, I think after Battle of BC, I mean, like, maybe it's like shooting the gun, but, like, he, dude, he is looking. He's looking hot. He's looking good for number the, one the right now. The thing is, he can beat Ices, and J Mook can't. Yeah, J Mook can't. Like, you want J Mook to be the best, but J Mook is limited by, like, his H box sets. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, we have Cody, picking every puff like it's his job. Oh, dude. He is clean with it right now. You know, I want to talk a lot more about this matchup, but Cody's just been in the driver's seat the entire time. Komodo's picking up where he can, but, um... There's not oh, many places. Yeah, exactly. Like, fantastic grab. Um, a bit of an abysmal pound. <laughs> oh my gosh, just runs up, finds that's the grab, it. converts at 51. You think we'd like Cody more if he was a taunter like Aklo? How would you um, feel? I could see the storyline. Would that, would that shift, would you think he'd lean into his villain persona, maybe? I'm so down for a villain, Cody. Only, like, if he gets number one and starts haunting on everyone, I'm so with it. That's the... That's the storyline I want. Komodo, honestly, I'm surprised here, because most puffs at this point, that I know now, just go back to Battlefield. Really? They don't, they don't, they hold yeah. this Dreamland pick. Oh, I mean, I, oh, I can see that. I can see, like, holding it, but, um... Oh, oh my gosh, dude. The, the use of fair. I love a little 2023 Fox play. Especially like combos on, on floaties like that. Yeah, I, I can understand, uh, like you were saying with Dreamland, I can understand holding the pick. But, um, Battlef they, they find Battlefield so consistent. Like, I know Panko will just keep going back. Panko's a, Panko's a weird soul. But, you know, he's knowledgeable. I guess it depends, right? Because like different foxes are gonna use the space differently, and, and sometimes you know not uh, not for for puffs uh, you know benefit. Cody is just not pressed either. No, not at all. Like, I don't feel any cracks in his game plan that would lead me to believe he's going to lose the game right now. Ooh, there's one. Oh Our God, Ray. there's Komodo three. Finds it. There's three. Yeah, he's patching see? it back up as he's on the coming off the spawn platform. You know, not not invincible, right? Especially against Buff. You know, there's there's a there's a world here where Komodo just like goes absolute gamer mode. But God, Cody is playing this so textbook right now. I love the time it makes up, just scaring him underneath the platform, forcing Komodo's shield out, falling getting, with the bear, getting all of the strongest trades. Cody's just about to yeah. be rested. Oh, oh good, the perfect walk. DI. I love the walk up. <gasps> Komodo doesn't go for the rest there. I think he doesn't want to trade the stocks, which I can understand. You probably want to go for the like a gimpy, gimpy setup there. Komodo not sure what to do with this lead here. This like very small, very small lead. 
Yeah, well, I mean, they're even now. <laughs> kind of just hoping Cody won't fall on him with another bear, and yet he'll do it every time. Oh, oh, oh! Another nice. crack in the armor. Okay, all right, Kamoto comes back. I think that's the thing that Puff is like the absolute best out of all the characters, right? She's so good at like, you know, if you if you do show those cracks, if you, if you do mess up a little, she's gonna take it so Puff, far. Puff immediately gets the benefit off of your anxieties. <laughs> exactly. She she's the cause she's the cause of them. She's benefiting off of them. Just the the the, the mental game character at the score is really grounded play. That's something I notice from Komodo a lot whenever I've seen him play. Is that he, he unlike a lot of Puffs. Is, is so down to play this like horizontal game, which is scary because you know Fox, but obviously it works out for him. He's sitting here and I'm not. Well, wow. did he beat a fox to get here? Is the real question. <laughs> I mean, most likely, but yeah, Cody just walking up, finding a perfectly placed up smash. But I just I feel like having them at zero is such a tough spot, right? Because you, you gotta. You must gotta approach, and Cody's not looking to. Cody's yeah. immediately shining too. Every time Komodo touches yeah, he's, him, he's switching up his tempo so well, right? Like, like backs up, laser, 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 and then he like plays this like this mid game right here, right? Oh my god, that's a perfect example of exactly what I'm talking about. Wow. Oh my gosh, that kill! Yeah, oh yeah, that definitely does kill. Komodo caught Falling lacking air. there. Like, yeah, that was a weird one because Komodo technically he, he tacked the. Uh, the following there, but it's still converted anyways. I wonder if you get attacked away or in a different direction. Gotten out of that setup. Swagger B 3 0 Simbad. Whoa. Yeah, Swagger B top 64. Right, crazy upset. Swagger B top 48. Wait, top 48? Yeah, Let's she go beats, B. She beats Swagger B <laughs> Simbad. Sidebar. Mango beats equilateral. And we're back on Dreamland still. Don't forget yeah, to look at that crown I... by Cody's name. Oh, Cody's got one too. Excuse me. Cody can also maybe... coach you on Metafy. I don't even. Okay, you know, maybe I take it back. Maybe Komodo doesn't have a Metafy, but I'm sure you can reach out to him Komo on Twitter. Komodo had the crown for a bit. Yeah, it's just the buff. I mean, it's crazy. Yeah, no, we did say, but Moth three over J Mook. Yeah, I'm bring a little bit of attention to that. That has to be the upset of the bracket of the tournament. It has to be. Nothing else could be as surprising right now. Nah, I mean, the real thing is, like, now there's an absolute demon in the loser's bracket. So, like, let's see what the, what the role is. Like, how far are they going to take that? God, yeah, and I, I definitely agree. Like, you know, looking at the Dreamland pick, like, Cody is doing so, so well with all this space. Komodo seems like he only wants to play sequestered under the side plat right now, and Cody feels like he gets to use like every platform, every height. Yeah, no, he's using all of his resources so well right now. I definitely agree. Oh, it feels like Komodo's like trying to like playing in their like comfort space, and it's not um not eking out for them. I feel like I saw Cody hit the half a grand fob ledge dash just now. <laughs> like it just did not look like it should have happened. <laughs> the teleport to mid stage. Oh. Nice. I think it. God, this one's like way rougher than the other ones. You, I'm you not hate. Go ahead. I'm just not sure what Komodo's game plan is going to be. <laughs> yeah, I mean, from here, like, he, he, he back throw. You just want to back throw. Hbox doesn't really have this deficit. <laughs> Sometimes he does, though. Yeah, I've seen it happen. Yeah, it's one of those things where, like, you know, when you play against someone better than you, the longer the set goes on, you want to be feeling like you are. Even if you drop that first game, even if you drop that second game, you want to feel like you are making progress towards taking the next one. Mm. And it's actually it's really, actually yeah. just got, it only got worse. Exactly, really. like it's so tough when that other player is is pushing against you in the other direction. Okay, and you know, a quick 3-0 by Cody Schwab.